Greetings, everyone. Um, Alafia, Salam Aleikum, and um, whatever other language we know. Uh, this is Yayi Oshun Toyin, and I'm back again to talk to you guys a little bit today. And I won't be on here too, too long, but I wanted to speak to y'all about starting your day, which kind of begins at night, you know, the night before you go to sleep or before you go to sleep and then waking up the next day. So I wanted to talk to you about that. And then next week, we'll talk about something that will come after that. But today, I wanted to talk about like kind of how to start your day off or how we should start our day off, which is a practice all in itself, which is um, it's a way of basically calling to yourself what you want to happen for the rest of the day. Uh, it can help with the rest of your week, which can lead to the rest of your month, you know, and, and so forth. So no matter what your, let's start with the night before. So sometimes we go to sleep and we all do it. Um, I do it sometimes, but we all go to sleep with things on our mind from whatever is happening that day, the day before, things that's lingering, um, things that we need to address that we didn't get a chance to address, things that we're worrying about, what we have to do the next day, you know, all of this type of stuff. It could be anything, bills, a loved one, children, life, just whatever in general um, will weigh on you. So when we go to sleep with that weight, for one, it affects our dreams and it affects how we wake up and we go into our next day, which will affect the type of day we have, which will actually be a beacon or call to you, basically the type of energy that you woke up with, to be honest. And there are going to be things that's going to still happen. Um, you're going to be tested throughout the day. Sometimes just to see if you really about that life, basically, um, to test even your character and trying to wake up and have a good day or trying to call to you or manifest what you intend to manifest throughout the day. So when we go to sleep with all of those things on our mind and on our heart, it kind of it creates this weight. And it lingers in our subconscious. And sometimes those things form into literal um, spirit bodies and things like that because all energy has to take form. All energy forms some type of motion. So it starts to become a catalyst for negative spirits or positive spirits, depending on what you go to sleep thinking about and how you wake up. It becomes a catalyst for those energies that do that type of work via like, say, for example, if it's a negative spirit, then they're looking for a negative energy wave to ride. And if you happen to already be in that energy space, then it's almost like an open door. It is an open door for those energies to travel through. So I guess to, it'd be safe to say before waking up, try as hard as you can. I know some things are easier said than done, but with practice, it gets pretty easy. Um, and once you see the difference that it actually makes, you almost don't want to go to sleep without checking yourself because you will notice that it makes a difference. And the difference with that with some people is a lot of people are addicted to pain. A lot of people are addicted to drama. A lot of people are addicted to uneasiness throughout the day. So that's a whole topic and thing to deal with in itself. But we're talking about those people who are, even if they're not there yet, who are wanting to become more conscious of what they're attracting to themselves. We're talking about people that's already there in that mindset, because really there's no no mastering it. People say that, but you have to work at it all the time. That's why it's called a practice. No matter how good and how much understanding you get, because we're living every day and different energies arise, we're going to always be still in the form of practicing, basically, if that makes sense. So 
when you go to sleep, it's best to try to like empty, empty your cup. Just know that there's no more that you can do right then that needs to be done. Um, anyway, so you may as well take some time, rest your mind, rest your body so that you can tackle whatever you have to tackle the next day. And we all have a form of control. We want to be able to control our situations and our outcomes, but we have to look at it in an energetic um, perspective as well and kind of understand that what we put out, you see what I'm saying? We're expecting it to come back a particular way. It may not even come back that same way. So we just want to create a ripple effect of, of blessings for ourselves before we even go to sleep. So with that being said, you know, again, try to empty your cup, empty whatever negativity that you may have, because if it's already going into the next day, unless it's something urgent that you have to be doing like right then, you got to save it for the next day. And then you're still going to need your energy to be able to get up and, and to tackle that and to do that the next day. So what you want to do or what you want to try to do is to balance that out to say you some positive prayers, some affirmations. Um, there are certain little things, little little things that you can do, like put a glass of water beside your bed to kind of, because water, people don't know, water is an energy conduit. And it's a reason why it's called a universal solvent and things like that. It's because water absorbs and it creates. Um, that's why certain things, when it touches water, it creates bacteria and then life forms form from that bacteria. So I said all that to say that it's a living, a living thing, you know. So what you can do is you can speak into that water before you lay down, you know, because that, that way you're doing your prayers as well. And you're not just praying, you're actually doing some type of work. So you can say some positive prayers before you go to bed, speaking into the water, know your intentions, know what you want, be very specific, say it out loud, put that water beside your bed so that it can absorb any type of negativity trying to attack you or um, so that it can be a energy conduit for good spirits to come through as well, you know. So you want to do that and you want to, you know, kind of situate yourself however you need to say some prayers to your inner spirit, to the creator, um, to Mother Earth, to all the things that coexist. Because that's one thing we have to understand that everything we coexist with takes on its own energy form. The Earth has its own energies. It's alive. I said that before and I'm going to continue to say that because a lot of people don't think about it day to day we get up and we just go start running around and we don't pay attention to everything that's around us because we have so many distractions so with that being said you know you want to go ahead and set set some what we call good juju for yourself at night time um and then when you wake up these this is a suggestion something that i can uh you know share with you real real simple but the the thing about it is you have to really connect to what you're doing and everything that you do spiritually you have to for one know that it's going to work you have to two spiritually and consciously and subconsciously believe and not even just believe no in what you're doing you have to know what you're doing so you want to when you wake up before you speak to anybody because those are going to be and i'm going to give you an example of certain little tests when you're uh, practicing this somebody may call you the next morning it's going to be some drama it may be something going on where it's going to take your mind right off of or you may wake up out of your sleep with something your kids your spouse it could be anything and you're going to wake up right out of your sleep and get started and start running and doing whatever you're doing. And now you've forgotten to greet yourself, greet your higher self, greet your spirit, greet your good energies, greet the day in a good mindset so that you can receive that type of energy throughout the day so that you receive grace and favor, even though things may still arise I have seen it in my own life with my own experiences that you will be granted grace and favor as long as 
you have your mind right to receive that, you know, as long as you set forth that energy and motion, excuse me, I'm trying to fix my camera. As long as you set forth that energy and motion. Um, so an example or something that you can do when you wake up and I look down a lot, I'm not actually even reading anything. I'm just looking around, but what you can do is you can get up and put your hands on your head you can put your hands on your head and begin doing prayers to your inner spirit we call it or re um in atr which means african uh traditional some people say religion it's not a religion it's a practice a way of life but to those who say it that way uh get up and put your hands on your head you know because what you're doing is you're covering your head your inner spirit your sacred um what do you say connection to everything so that you can block out any negativity and also send what you're saying to yourself within yourself so that it can resonate throughout the day so you want to wake up and you want to start doing your prayers to your inner spirit asking that you be guided throughout the uh the day that you be greeted well um by the universe, by the earth, by the divine spirits that's out there, by no matter what name you call it, you want to be greeted well when you leave your house. And you also want to ask that your character be well, that you be conscious of what you do throughout the day and so that you can receive what you're asking for. So when you get up, you want to pray for those things or ask for those things. And you want to also ask for things that you need in general. And you also want to be grateful because a lot of times we'll ask for things, but we forget to have gratitude for what could already be happening because we may think we're going through stuff, but it may be, it could be always something I want to say worse, or we may not even know what is being blocked from us, you know, from happening. So there's always something going on. The reason why things are happening around us, no matter what it is, it's always a reason why. Um, people like to say there's no rhyme or reason, but there always is. No energy is by accident. So you want to start to say your prayers, affirmations, and set the tone for yourself throughout the day. And you want to literally walk in it, meaning you're conscious throughout the day of what you've asked for, what you want to receive, what you want to be like throughout the day. And then as you continue to do it, you you know it gets easier but you almost want to make sure it becomes a task that you take just as serious as collecting a paycheck as just as serious as you doing your work or anything you take serious in life because that's your agreement with the universe that's your agreement with yourself that's your agreement you know with your higher self of asking and giving so that's kind of what I want to talk about, you know, just a little perspective on making sure that we greet the day well, because what we greet the day with is what we're going to be met with sometimes. And like I said, sometimes things will happen, but it's how we handle those things that ensures our grace, like our rise and our fall throughout the day. And you have to know that. So, um, with that being said, I really, I really don't have to too much more uh to talk about because like i said i do i do have some some things i have to do today but i wanted to make sure that i did talk about greeting your day and starting off with positive prayers and and work and with that glass of water how you discard it is you can you know say some more prayers in it and then you can dump it out you know um in the daytime or you can add some a little bit of sea salt to it and then dump it outside of your door or you know flush it down your drain whatever uh but you want to make sure that you tend to everything that you create spiritually you want to always tend to it put your hands on it pay attention to it because that's part of working that energy or working with that energy um there's always a lot of different things that you can do too, just in case, you know, somebody feel like I'm kind of leaving something out because I may be, uh, there's different things you can do depending on your situation, your environment, everything is different before you go to bed. You can also, uh, you know, place different stones. Like if you are a person who floats, 
or you feel like you fly, you know, or you kind of flighty in your dreams or you don't feel really grounded, you know, you can put you some grounding stones around your bed, you know, smoky quartz, tourmaline, you could put you some um, tiger's eye, you can do some pyrite, you know, different things depending on what type of energy you want to resonate with. You can smudge a room, you know, sage is very, um, what do you say, kind of basic, but you can do little things to kind of set forth your intentions uh, before you go to bed so you can kind of set the tone for yourself as well as for how you wake up. And then when you wake up, you can kind of repeat those steps. You can clean again, depending on what kind of dream you had. If you had a dream that was very vivid, that also kind of can determine your day because a lot of times messages will come to us in our dream. If you know you set forth good energy, you know, before going to sleep, you may get some type of message that you need to hear. Uh, in a clear state of mind in your dreams and as soon as you wake up because I learned from experience that also when you remember something if you don't repeat it to yourself or write it down uh, bits and pieces of those dreams uh, kind of leave you throughout the day or over the days so you want to try to make sure you write it down figure out what that meaning is you can also call people who are good at interpreting dreams like myself and I'm sure many others out there but of course I'm going to recommend myself uh, so you know you can kind of reach out to find out what your dream may be meaning or how to kind of interpret that again I would usually be in um, off of that subject I would usually be doing like a reading for the day but what I think I'm going to do so that I'm real transparent um, is when we start going live with the readings because it's only so much I'm going to be able to pull from uh, a global perspective. It's kind of like the same things happening right now until we continue, until we actually push through this shift. We know that there's a lot of civil wars happening. I'm speaking globally now. I'm off of, um, I'm not actually off of it because it ties into how things happen day to day because there's always things happening around us globally and you don't want to internalize all of those things uh, that happens daily when you watch the news and things like that because that sets a messed up tone for people throughout the day because everything a lot of things you see is usually down um, down energy low vibration mundane energy when you wake up and you see it on the news so you want to know you know how to handle all of that you know to kind of feel to that you can not watch it and just tune into the universe which is a practice in itself because we're still going to know these things that's happening you may not know it in complete detail and sometimes you don't need the detail you just need to know how to work with that energy meaning how to work with yourself and how to work with what's around you um and so back to what's happening outside of us you know, we know globally that there's a, there's a big shift of civil wars going on, race wars going on, uh, truths being exposed, you know, lies being exposed, you know, likewise, there's a lot of unveiling going on. Things that actually never really were hidden, but people had so many distractions again that they weren't paying attention to the things that should have been obvious, the things that we should have been paying attention to. And still, even now, people are confused and they're going left and right because they're holding on to a lot of material things and not vibrating above that. So if you stay in that plane, you're going to worry about all the negativity in the world because you're not seeing your way out of it. You don't see anything different, you know, so that energy will weigh down on you. And it's very important for you to say yourself prayers and things like that and your affirmations and start your day off before speaking to anyone, before dragging yourself into drama. If somebody walks up to you and you just waking up, give yourself that time because you can't handle things if you are jumping right out of the bed early in the morning or however, whatever time you wake up and you're already in a bad mood, then I don't think it's going to get too much better from now. I'm pretty sure it won't. You know that it won't things continue to kind of like downslide from there. So before anybody jokes you out of your sleep or starts you on a rough day or rough path, you know, speak to yourself, speak to the energies around you, speak to the universe, because there's always things happening around us. There's always going to be problems. There's always going to be distractions. But if you're not glued together, if you're not focused, if you're not grounded, how 
do you think you're going to respond to the daily situations? And that's why there's so many people right now experiencing mass hysteria and people not talking about that because everybody keeps talking about, and I'm going to say it, the COVID, 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 which is the biggest distraction we got going right now, because I want to say this, um, and it's, it's a tangent kind of, but it all makes sense. We can focus on it. We can focus on COVID and all these numbers that they say and people dying in every day. Uh, Cause I just, I just know logically if it was that high, we would be seeing all kind of dead bodies on the street. Like people would just be collapsing in front of us. It would be bad, you know, but that's not what's happening. So with that, that's keeping people in a low vibration, even though they're not thinking that, Hey, all of that can't really be going on because I'm not even seeing it with my own eyes. I'm just hearing it. I'm just hearing it and I'm hearing other people say what they're hearing, but are we actually seeing it? We're not seeing it, but it's becoming your reality because that's what you wake up with. That's what you went to sleep thinking about. Now it becomes reality. Now people who are already on a low vibration or a low frequency, it's probably going to happen to them because they're accepting it. They're like, hey, this is what's happening. So now you got people who are in mass hysteria. They don't even know how to gather themselves. They don't know what's going, if they're going or coming or whatever, because they have no grounding. They have no footing. They're losing their faith. They're losing their minds. They're losing their stance. They're losing their focus. And it's because Everybody stays constantly distracted and nobody is dealing with inner spirit first. Everything is worldly and mundane and we're following followers and people who don't even know where they're going. And we're listening to people who are putting this information out there that we don't even know personally. We don't know their intentions. How do we know that they care about us? You see what I'm saying? Common questions that if you were in the right state of mind, when you wake up from the time you go to sleep, you would think about these things. These would be daily questions. Like, why are we listening to this? You see what I'm saying? Because you don't physically see it. You know, people can tell you anything. Say, for example, somebody goes into the hospital. They're really having a heart attack. They're really having already have always had bad health, may not even realize they had bad health, whatever. Um, and they go into the hospital and next thing you know, all of a sudden they sick and then all of a sudden they dying and then it's COVID. You know what I'm saying? So I think we just need to really reassess how we wake up. Now that I think that's what needs to be done to reassess how we wake up and how we go to sleep because the world is spinning off a of, uh, axis right now that people don't have a grip on. And it's becoming a... It's almost like a parasite jumping from person to person. But even though we're not seeing this disease physically in the flesh happening like this, we're experiencing the mental shift of it. So that's my whole point about making sure that we stay balanced with how we go to sleep and how we wake up. I want to keep staying on that. Um, let me see what else I, uh, what is the spirit telling me before we, before we jump off. Um, I just wanted to say that, you know, again, we have to take control of our inner spirit, our inner God, which is yourself first, because everybody has all these different beliefs and all these different things that they believe in, but not everything is true. And how do you know what's true? Truth stands on its own. It's unchangeable. It does not have different versions. You see what I'm saying? There's not different versions of truth. It does not just keep changing like that because it's sustainable and it's factual. Um, so when it comes to things like that, we see constant change. I want to stay on that. Like we see constant change every day in people's mindsets. And as soon as you see something on the news or as soon as somebody else says something and you notice that you'll have a shift in your own energy, you know, that's because people are not, and a lot of us don't have enough mental strength or spiritual strength and stability to basically how do you say, uh, repel those things, not being in denial, but just understanding that you don't even personally see it yourself in your life like that. So why would you take those things into your spirit? So you need to make sure when you're waking up that people are not imposing their issues or their views or 
how they see the world or whatever has become reality for them, you know, in your own personal life. So I kind of think that's it. I mean, I, I'm sure it's more to be said and I'll, I'll think about it later and I'll come back to it. But right now, I just wanted to kind of talk about that because, again, people are really losing our grip. Um with day-to-day -day focus people are all over the place we're all over the place you know as far as how we're handling day-to-day -day situations our emotions you know that's an all-time high right now where people just don't know what they're doing you know we just all over um so that's part of how to keep yourself grounded please 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 be conscious of how you go to sleep how you wake up and what information you retain. Is it factual? Is it true? Is it sustainable? How is this actually working? Ask questions. Don't just believe what you talk. Ask questions about everything that people you do not know. People that you have never met. You have never seen. Are controlling behind the scenes in our life. In our daily life. You know, um, how it's affecting the world, how our family affects us, even though we're not around them, but we go to sleep with their issues. We wake up with it. We're not healing from our own issues. All of this stuff is making people loopy right now. And I'm just being honest. So with that being said, take charge, take control, take accountability and responsibility for your own sanity, your own mental health. Because that's the only thing that can heal first. We can all have advice. Something may even be sparked inside of you. And hopefully I'm helping. Um, and, you know, people, you know, there's different people out here that's trying to help. But ultimately, it's our individual responsibility to do these things. And again, you all can reach me um, at Hood Rituals and Beauty LLC uh, dot gloss, G L O S S genius.com you can call me or text and ask for the information i can also um send you my links and things like that we can set up an appointment for a reading if there's something that you feel like we need to dig deeper into i provide tarot readings on a more i want to say surface level um it still gets deep it just depends on what message is being brought forth and i also do different forms of readings that you will find out about if you decide that you want to book those readings my number is on my website it's on my instagram it's in all of my um business profiles but i will leave it here as well because you know it is it's public now 404-979-0014 and my name is Oshun Toyin. Y'all be easy. Take control of your lives and your daily perspective. Ask questions. Peace. Yeah. yeah. Now we gonna tell them.